Hello YouTube! I am here with a very, very, very special unboxing. I got my hands on the Hocus Pocus Tarot that just came out. This is a Insight Editions deck, uh, actual licensed Disney. And they have taken the Hocus Pocus characters and animated them. This is a Pip deck. It has new suits and it's, I, I just, let's just share it, yeah? Normal lift top box, plain on this side. We have a cute little book. It's got Binks in the corner. And then Winifred, Mary, and Sarah have their bottles with their initials. Inside is all about the tarot deck, an introduction explaining it, how to understand it, explaining the new um, suits as well as tarot in general. And then we get into the, the normal meaning of the card, picture of the card. Once we get all the way to the end, I do believe, yes, there is information on how to care for the deck as well as some special layouts just for this deck. Some of them may be just renamed. We have Hocus Pocus and Cat's Eye. Pretty cool. Pretty informative little book, full color, holds up. Good book. Not just a little uh, plain, plain Jane one. We do have the lift ribbon. And under the deck, we have the black flame candle. So I thought that was cute. For the backs, we have this gorgeous galaxy. It is that almost papery feel cardstock. Holds up like the rest of the Disney cards. I've raved about their cardstock across the board. So not, not anything different here. Jumping right in, we have the full. The Magician. The High Priestess. Now, I don't need to name any more until we get to the cards that have changed. There are some name changes. Disney has been pretty... Uh, Continuous with changing the devil and death cards, especially. For obvious reasons, I guess. Definitely need to petition Disney to make an animated version of Hocus Pocus after I've seen these, these cards. Like, for real. Animated version. With the original character, actors. I love that that card right there love it for the hanged man we have replaced it with suspension death has been replaced with transformation and this one this one takes the cake i saw this in my little preview yesterday the devil card has become the master just uh tell me that's not perfect i mean come on and the dog is there too come on that is absolutely epic complete with his little wings absolutely epic and of course for the sun card we had to have winnie turning to stone Now, potions, I do believe is cups, and this goes backwards, um, from king down to ace. This is the night, this is reminiscent of the Nightmare Before Christmas deck, the way that they did that one, for sure. And yes, this will be a new Halloween deck for me. Believe that. 
I'll use it all year, but definitely Halloween deck. Very, this one is extremely reminiscent of Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm going to have to do a comparison. Um, I do believe Potions was the cups in that deck as well. I'm not mad. I actually like it. There's a continuity to it, almost. I also like that they've stepped away from the full pip in this deck. It's a mix rather than full pip. So I like that as well. Next we have candles. That is wands. I haven't touched my um, Nightmare Before Christmas deck in a while. I do kind of think this was there, too. I really think Candles was there at Wands as well. Definitely going to have to do a little quick comparison. And um, I know... There's going to be somebody who says, well, this is a pip deck. For me, the way this is drawn, technically, I guess we could say it's a pip, but there's enough illustration here. I feel like it breaks it up more than just a straight six wands would be. At least that's my opinion. For me, this is a cross between, or in my opinion, this is a cross between a pip and a fully like Rider Waite illustrated, in my personal opinion. Next, we have Pumpkins, which is for Pentacles. And, again, I really need to do a comparison with this Nightmare Before Christmas. I really do. But, um, again, I feel it's a continuity to it. It links it all together. I'm falling asleep. Uh, I'm absolutely in love. Absolutely in love. I would say this. I, I'm not going to say no. It's not a beginner's deck. Um, if this speaks to you, you could try it. It just may be a little bit more difficult for a beginner. Doesn't mean it can't be done. Definitely glad to have this one in my collection and I cannot thank the gifter enough for it. This is ugh, absolutely in love with this deck. Finally, we have Lightning for Swords. The, <laughs> the bus driver. I love how they did this deck. It's, I just love it. I watch this movie every Halloween. It is not Halloween until I've watched it at least twice. And this is my childhood in a way, even Nightmare Before Christmas isn't. And I'm so, so in touch with this deck already. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I would definitely say, um, worth having just to have it even if you don't want to read with it this is worth having in your collection i hope everybody has enjoyed if you haven't already click that subscribe button and ding the bell so it'll tell you whenever i post and come live i am live typically by 9 a.m eastern time every morning except sunday sundays are a little bit different and um i do I do, 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 do love to hear from you guys, so don't hesitate to leave comments. Check the description box. There's hella information down there, including a link to the deck. And I hope I hear from you all soon. 
See you guys soon with the next unboxing. Bye, y'all.